Edgewood County Park and Natural Preserve is a 467 acre protected area located here in San Mateo County. Edgewood has something for everyone. The park includes precious native grasslands, oak woodlands, and chaparral habitats. We are San Mateo County's only natural preserve with over 10 miles of trails and a surprising amount of biodiversity in just 467 acres. Edgewood Park and Natural Preserve is protected through the handiwork of the Friends of Edgewood and partnerships with Creekside Science and San Mateo County Parks. The extraordinary biodiversity at Edgewood is on display during the spring wildflower season. My name is Barry and I'm a volunteer with the Friends of Edgewood. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at some of our early spring flowering plants that typically bloom in February and March. Starting in late February and March, woodland plants come alive. In April, the flowers of the serpentine grasslands put on a show. And then as the season progresses, we'll start to be out in the grasslands and there we'll see royal larkspur, we'll see California poppies, and tidy tips. We have lupins in the park. Taking a hike with the Friends of Edgewood Docent is a great way to connect with nature. I find that when you share that knowledge, it increases your own appreciation and also spreads that appreciation to others. Friends of Edgewood Docents lead guided hikes during wildflower season. But flowers aren't the only thing you'll see. We have turret spiders here. And if you walk along very carefully on the edges of the banks, you'll see these little holes that seem to have a spider web inside. And that's actually what they are, holes for turret spiders. Another spider you might encounter is the funnel web spider. They live in areas where there are cracks, holes, and things in the ground where they can have their funnel part of their web. They stand at the edge of the funnel, waiting for something to fall on the web and they can run out and grab it. And they're very common spiders. Paul Heipel, Friends of Edgewood, docent class of 95. The trails in Edgewood traverse multiple ecosystems. But you can just see the progression from the years. We start with the gold fields, and then move to the tidy tips, and then later, when we start to see a, a plant called Farewell to Spring, the Clarkias, we know, oh, springtime's almost over and we have to wait another year. But when you come back every year, it is like finding your old friends. The most important driver of Edgewood's ecological diversity is its 180 acres of serpentine soils, about a third of the preserve. Each day, more than 100,000 vehicles speed past Edgewood on Highway 280, spewing nitrogen oxides and ammonia, both potent slow-release fertilizers. This air pollution fertilizer is enriching our nitrogen-poor serpentine soils, allowing non-native annual grasses to crowd out the native plants. And so grass and weeds that normally wouldn't be able to grow on serpentine soil were suddenly able to thrive there. On the western edge of the park, we have a large area that is dominated by serpentine soils. And these serpentine soils are very low in nitrogen and calcium, two essential elements to most plant growth. However, in Edgewood, 
there is a whole flora, a whole series of plants that have evolved uh, to exist and grow on these serpentine soils. At one time, we had a unique butterfly population in Edgewood called the Bay Checker Spot Butterfly. The serpentine soils uh, where their host plants were growing uh, were getting fertilized by the highway that is running right adjacent to their habitat. And so the nitrogen that was coming in off of the cars was changing the chemistry of, of the soil and allowing weeds to come in. So the chief scientist at Creekside Science, uh, Dr. Stuart Weiss, uh, figured all that out and um, figured out how to you know, do that, the mowing techniques to start improving the habitat out there. So we've been involved with the Bay Checker Spot Butterfly out here for, for decades. Looking at what worked, uh, scaling up, we are doing the HMP with seed only because that was our by far our most successful treatment last year and we're doing it at five sites. And we're doing about 900 square meters at each of those five sites. So altogether, it's a little over an acre. Serpentine grasslands are mainly invaded by non-native grasses. At Edgewood, we've learned to treat those grasses through well-timed mowing. But the adjacent fertile grasslands have a wider range of weed problems that are often favored by mowing. Creekside Science is experimenting with alternative approaches. Hydromechanical pulverization, known as HMP, is a high-pressure water treatment that destroys above-ground plant matter and creates space for new native plant seedlings. This treatment does not adversely impact native perennials in the treatment plot. Under permit with San Mateo County Parks, Friends of Edgewood is working with its longtime partner, Creekside Center for Earth Observation, to conduct a multi-year experiment testing methods for removing invasive plants to make room for native plants to once again take hold in Edgewood's grasslands. It will take several years to fully evaluate the effects of the treatment experiment. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Edgewood Park and Natural Preserve. 